um, two things. Number one, I see a nice opportunity being there for you, right? Like we have the two of wands here, which is a card where it's like, basically, you can do whatever you set your mind to. You know, this card is literally the world is in your hands. You know, the world is your oyster. And the main uh, thing about this card is you have to basically decide what you want to do you have to be like okay what do i want to do and then put in the energy and put in the work to get that done because the only thing that stops this card is not being able to make a choice is not being able to make up its mind so this card is like literally figure out what you want to do what direction you want to go in and then set your mind to it and put your focus and energy in it and you got it you know curate it develop it because there's not much that's stopping you and even even with that we have the seven of wands card which the seven of wands card is a card that says you are bigger than all of your obstacles you are bigger than any problem that comes towards you so like even if things get a little bit rough and tough you can make it through that you know it's not something that should stop you the only reason why it would stop you is if you don't believe in yourself if, if you don't believe in your abilities you know that would be the biggest thing holding you back but like both of these cards say that you got it you can do it it's not a question of if you have the ability to and it's not a question of if you have um the power you know or the skill set it's more about you believing in you to get those things done i will also say that you may need to work with some other people you know like the two of cups is a communication card it's two people who are on the same page who understand each other and sometimes this card is like you may need help from someone else you may just need a lending hand to help you get to where you're going because things work out better when we have other people on our side, helping us and supporting us, pushing us into the direction that we need to go into. So I see a lot of good things coming your way. It's more about, okay, where's your energy? Where's your focus? Are you determined? Are you going to not let these obstacles stop you? You know, and if you need help, reach out, get help, you know? Communicate your wants and needs is really what that is. Does that make sense? gonna like this answer very much um but what happened is number one they didn't have a good sense of stability inside themselves you know like their sense of safety their sense of comfort their sense of like stability was outside of themselves and more accurately it was probably like inside of like they they tied that to you and or the relationship you know and that made them feel very vulnerable um and all over the place and very chaotic and so then they had this moon moment which is basically two conflicting conflicting feelings and emotions where it's like okay so part of me feels one way the other part of me feels another way and so they just number one needed space to try and figure that out to try and figure out okay what's going on how do i really feel um and they needed a change in perspective you know which is why we have this hangman in the reverse which is like okay i need i need a moment i need space to try and figure everything out change the way i see things and in the midst of all of that they were probably like actually i don't like you actually like this is not something that i want to do this like i don't really have the same feelings that i used to have for you um which is really what all this is saying like in short it's almost like they lost feelings for you but more accurately i think they never genuinely truly had those feelings i think it was more like okay um i don't want to be by myself i don't want to be alone and in realizing that that's where that came from they were like let me take a step back let me let me do me you know that's that's what that is i'm just gonna let you know that now number one josh um we have the death card here the death card is just about moving on it's just about transitioning and really what this card is it's about letting go of things that are no longer for you that are no longer bringing you into the direction that you need probably some baggage probably some dr um trauma you know things that have hurt you in the past like what currently just happened um and letting that go so that way it doesn't affect future relationships so there, there's a lot of releasing that needs to happen you know and then once that transition happens we also have the ace of swords here the ace of swords is seeing things in a different light like this is a change of perception a change of how you view relationships a change of how you see relationships so that is also something that is needed you know in the short i i do think that you're going to find like true genuine love the main reason why i say that is because we have the strength card which is a card that just says be strong keep going like this is not something that's out of your grasp you just need patience you just need courage you know is what that is because sometimes it can be a long and difficult journey sometimes it feels like this never-ending journey where you're constantly in and out of relationships and nothing's ever lasting you know but that's not to say that that's what's happening it's just to say that sometimes we we need to learn and grow from our mistakes you know and so that's what this is saying we also have the two of cups here which is 
a miscommunication card, which is like two people who don't understand each other, who aren't on the same page. And really what this is, is it's like, number one, be able to communicate your thoughts and your feelings, be able to communicate your wants and your needs, um, but also be willing to listen like be willing to like okay this is what someone else wants how can i do that you know it's two people who are on the same page you know really what that is and so if you don't find that connection if you're like okay we're not really vibing don't try and settle for something that's not going to work because it's really easy to do that especially when you get like tired and you're like okay well maybe i just need to let go of my expectations a little bit you know but what that's going to do is that's going to put you in a bad situation so it's being able to communicate your wants and your needs, being able to share your emotions, um, letting go of the hurts and the pains that you've experienced so that way they don't affect future relationships and being able to change the way that you view relationships. And that that part, that Ace of Swords moment, that change in perspective, that's gonna happen naturally. And that's gonna create this ripple effect that like changes the way you see the world and everything around it, you know? It's just like a change that happens with the experiences that you go through, honestly. Does that make sense?